first a shock, now a ballot battle in the race for Queens District Attorney. A tally of paper ballots reversed the initial results, and the margins are so close it's forcing an automatic recount. CBS 2's Dave Carlin is live at the Queens Board of Elections in Forest Hills with more on this story. Dave. Cindy and Alex, the demonstrators behind me have been chanting count the vote while lawyers for both candidates are upstairs around a conference table and they're hashing it out exactly how they feel this recount should proceed. Um, we have no Counting and debates begin at this Board of Elections conference table about an election many New Yorkers thought was put to bed, but now it's wide awake again and in messy recount limbo. Tiffany Caban, a public defender and Democratic Socialist, declared victory in the Queens District Attorney race, bucking the Democratic Party establishment when the election night returns put her ahead of Melinda Katz. The Queensboro president, some had considered a shoe in. Wednesday night, the final count of paper ballots, which were not totaled on primary night, pushed Katz to the front with just 20 votes. That thin a margin automatically triggers a recount, so both candidates' teams must battle for every vote, a potentially long and expensive process. Every single, every single ballot, ballot, counted, counted. This demonstration was outside Board of Elections. Caban declared victory when she had an 1,100 vote lead on election night, even though she knew there were 3,400 absentee ballots still to be counted, not expecting Katz to emerge 20 votes ahead. Caban sent out this Thursday morning tweet. With a full recount coming up, there's more work to be done. Help us make sure every valid vote is counted. Katz declared victory, then said, we know that these numbers can and will be subject to recount, but what matters is the will of Queen's voters. What explains her apparent defeat turned apparent victory may be a push leading up to the election by her campaign to focus on people voting absentee. The situation here is that there are question marks over certain ballots that were thrown out for various reasons. Now, through this process, putting any back in, well, that could make all the difference here. Live in Forest Hills, Queens, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Dave, thank you.